Great Symphony's close up here in Dublin has been a wonderful opportunity to kind of perform a sort of open heart surgery uh, on some great symphonic music, literally kind of dissecting, diving down deep into the muscle tissue, the fibre, the texture, the DNA. What is it that makes a great piece of music great? How does it work? Why does it work? See, the thing is that a lot of people are... I'd say intimidated by orchestral music. They kind of tend to be on the back foot. They think, oh, I'm not clever enough to, to climb inside this material. Well, we would say to you, you absolutely are. Every person on the planet has the wherewithal to really get inside and to have a real kind of lucid understanding of how great music, great symphonic music works. And this series is all about exploring that. So what I hope we can show through the course of the, the gig today is how that process works. So then, then at the point of the performance, the audience are equipped with a whole bunch of, as it were, cup hooks to hang these ideas on and to have what I hope will be an amazing symphonic adventure. The entire piece is based on one tiny piece of genetic code. That is three notes underpinned by three Chords. Now, what is the first subject or the first proper melody like that comes directly out of these, this motto theme? Well, it sounds like this. Brahms is a bit like a bit like a sculptor, a bit like a Baroque sculptor actually. You can imagine him just fashioning with such care and precision every single detail but in fact he's more even than a baroque sculptor because a baroque sculptor won't really bother about the back of a head you know if that's not really on display he won't really bother it'll be kind of nailed to a board not Brahms he would take intricate detail over a tiny bit of hair let's say on the back of a head of a sculpture that he was was creating were he a sculptor now in musical terms it's exactly that every detail is based upon another exact detail which is based upon another exact detail what is music, if not the most universal language we have? It can speak in ways that no other form of language can begin to. 